Hey everybody. So you watched me cook some rice in a thermos and now I'm going to take that rice and make some fried rice. It's going to be delicious. So first I'm just going to lightly steam some broccoli and snap peas. Over medium to medium low heat I'm heating up a little bit of olive oil in my pan. Now if you have a wok, I would definitely recommend go ahead and use your wok. So in addition to the green onions, I'm also going to put a regular white onion. And of course, it's whatever you have. If you have just green onion, just use that. If you have just regular onion, use that. If you have both, use both. So going into the fried rice, I have coconut aminos, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, some ginger powder, and some garlic powder. Now if I had fresh ginger or fresh garlic, I would definitely use those, but I have neither of those. So in a pinch, these work fine. In the pan goes onions. And also the white parts of the green onion. And I'm going to hold aside uh, the, the tops of the green onions, the green parts. And those are just going to go right on top of the dish when after it's done cooking. Now this might surprise you, but this is the main ingredient in my fried rice. I've never used Spam before. I've eaten it at my Japanese friend's house. They make uh, Spam a Suvi, I believe it's called, which is kind of like a sushi roll with Spam in it. Uh, but I've never actually cooked it myself. It scares me a little bit. But I went to the Spam Museum in Minnesota and uh, I believe it's Austin, Minnesota, and it was a fantastic free museum, and it was in a beautiful little town, and I purchased this jalapeno spam. Uh, I just couldn't help myself, and I'm going to put it in the fried rice. I bet you it's going to be good, but it does scare me a little bit. So here it is, the spam, and I'm still a little weirded out by it. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it out of the can. So there's the spam. It's weird. And I am going to cut it up. I am not going to use that whole thing. That is way too much spam. I'm going to use just a little bit of it. And I cubed up the spam and it's going in the pan with the onions. The spam is in the pan. It's going to crisp up hopefully a little bit because I do not like the texture of it coming out of the can. It's kind of like a soggy hot dog. Kind of gross. Hopefully it turns out well. Now I'm going to add the lightly steamed veggies into the rice. Not into the rice, into the pan, I meant to say. The rice is not in there yet. So I'm going to add some seasoning to this. I'm going to put the ginger. And the garlic. And a little bit of the coconut aminos.
Now there will be plenty of sodium that comes from both the spam and the coconut aminos. Even though the coconut aminos do not does not have much salt in it, uh, it does have some, and definitely the uh, spam I'm sure is quite salty. I'm assuming. So I've made a little bit of room in the middle of the pan for the rice. I'm going to add just a little bit more oil. And here is the rice I cooked yesterday in the thermos. It's going right in the pan. And now I'm going to add some more coconut aminos to the rice. And a little bit of the vinegar. Now if you'd like you could put some sugar in there too. I don't think it needs it personally. So I will not do that. I push the rice down onto the pan a bit with the spoon. Hoping that I will start to uh, caramelize the rice just a little bit. I always love when uh, fried rice has a little bit of um, caramelization. Some pieces that are cooked a little longer than others. Gives it texture and added, added flavor. So I let it sit there for quite a bit, pressed into the pan. And then I'm gonna go in and stir it up a bit more. Some bits will stick to the bottom and that's okay. I'll just scrape them up. Start to incorporate the veggies and the spam. Now this is going to be a messy pan when I'm done, but that's okay. It's going to take a little extra to clean it up, but it's worth it. It's starting to look good. It smells really good. So I don't recommend constantly stirring this, but you do want to stir it occasionally. If you constantly stir it, you're not going to get those caramelized bits, which I'm after. Maybe it's not important to you, but you and you could uh, stir it more often, but I kind of press it down a bit into the pan and then let it sit for a minute. And I'm going to top it with a fried egg. And so here's that beautiful fried egg right on top. And a few more green onions. Because I am crazy about green onions. So this is breakfast. A little sriracha. Yum. So this is really delicious. That perfectly cooked egg with a little bit of yolk running in. The green onions and the cucumber adding some freshness. It's delicious. The one thing I would say you should be careful of, the Spam is really tasty, but it is extremely salty. Be careful with the amount of salt you add. Now, I did not add very much salt to, to anything, just the uh, coconut aminos. So definitely don't add extra salt to this dish. And if you're using soy sauce, which you can, you could substitute the coconut aminos for soy sauce. I would be very careful because the soy sauce is so much saltier than the coconut aminos. And with uh, the addition of the jalapeno spam, it's pushing the salt limit, but it is delicious. So that was the tastiest breakfast I've had in a long time. It was very salty, like I said, from that spam. Uh, but the crunch of the cucumber and the green onion and the freshness of the, those brought, and um, the spice from the ginger and the spam, uh, it, it all balanced out quite well and the yolk from the egg helped it as well. It was just delicious and I highly recommend that for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Thank you so much for watching.